All right, what is up, people? Welcome to the very first episode of Vicarious. I'm your host, John Vi. You know, I've done past podcast series. I did a uh, MMA UFC podcast. I also did a uh, music mysteries, kind of a uh, music conspiracy type podcast, if you will. And I think the big problem with those past two because they only lasted a couple months for me, and that was, you know, as long as the interests lasted. Um, really, for me, you know, focusing this podcast on being way more open, open topic, open discussion, um, I really think that's going to help keep something like this going for a long fucking time, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me introduce myself. If you don't know who I am... If you haven't been following me, you don't know me personally, I am a songwriter and musician. I uh, started my professional career as a drummer, realized after a couple years that I felt like I could do way more in the industry. I felt like I was maybe being held back by my, just my instrument and just my place in a lot of bands. So I said, hey, let me, let me go work on production. Let me go work on beat making. Let me go work on mixing and mastering. And uh, right now I have a uh, full album on Spotify. That link will be below. And then uh, we'll have some new music coming out from me probably the next month or two. Um, and there'll be a bunch of stuff next year we'll be doing too. So um, definitely definitely make sure to check out my Spotify. And um, definitely make sure if this is on YouTube. I think for now I'm going to keep the thing on YouTube. Keep the keep a Vicarious Podcast on YouTube. Um, just so I can keep it in one spot. So for now, we'll, we'll just be doing it on YouTube. So make sure to hit subscribe and uh, make sure to uh, follow up on all the updates that I'll be throwing you guys. Um, I'm thinking of doing a small little Patreon page for this podcast. And also I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a music show every week or two. Um, probably more a couple times a month. I want to keep this once a week so we can just fill up the schedule with uh, once a week podcasts and then a couple times a month, get out the guitar, get out the music that I write and I'll show you guys what I've been up to. Um, but really the big thing I've been up to, I've been watching a lot of Nick Cage movies, guys. I, I feel like it's almost a uh, jonesing, an addiction almost I, I've gotten to the point of. I forget if it's, uh, pretty sure it's Hulu that has the, um, gosh, they must have like 15 of his movies, you know? And I think the last one, the last one I watched that was a couple nights ago was Adaptation, and that was pretty good. Um, he is a he plays a screenwriter, and then I forget if he actually had a real twin brother in the movie or if that was just him being crazy. I, I forget, uh, I, I forget which one that was. I watched it in uh, two nights, so I wasn't sure uh, if he had uh, kind of gone crazy, had like a mental break, and he had like a twin brother, or if it really was. Um, a brother in the storyline. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's kind of the Nicholas Cage storyline, you know, really every movie is like that. And then, uh, another favorite of mine recently has been, um, it's either Willie's wonderland or Wally's wonderland. And he doesn't have a single line in the movie. He's in a good portion of the movie, probably 85% of the movie he's in it. He has no lines. He's really weird in it for being kind of a horror type flick. It's pretty good. Kind of has a, uh, uh, what is it like? Kind of the, um, oh, who, what was that? That what was that restaurant for kids? Uh, uh, oh, Chuck E. Cheese. So it kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese vibe, and these people would come in town. They get stuck in town, and they had to. They basically were like being uh, fed to these machines. It was kind of crazy, but uh, I thought it was a pretty good movie, and and uh, it's kind of one of those like B horrors, I guess you could say. And uh, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good for a for a Nick Cage. Oh man, National Treasure. Um, but National Treasure is another good one, guys. Nick Cage has been killing the game since he's really an OG, guys. I mean, if you really think about how long he's been acting for and and who who he's related to, not a lot of people know he was really he's related to uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Um, his real last name is Coppola. He went by Cage. I'm not sure what superhero it is, but it was some some superhero's real name, I think, was last name Cage, so he went with Nicolas Cage. Pretty interesting. Uh, 
But yeah, it's funny. Like the movies he, he takes, the movie roles he takes, they're interesting. <laughs> That's for sure. Not as crazy as Steven Seagal though. Steven Seagal is on a new level of just giving up <laughs> as an actor. At least with Nick Cage, he keeps up the craziness. Like uh, I saw Mom and Dad a couple nights ago. That movie, Mom and Dad, and it's kind of it kind of makes fun of like uh, um, uh, vampire movie, not vampire movies, um, zombie movies, zombie sh- TV shows. So I thought it was pretty funny, and it was kind of scary too, because like the parents get like I forget in the storyline. Yeah, I, I think like all the parents of the town, or maybe of the world. I'm not sure how big the event was in the in the movie. Um, but like all the parents wanted to kill their kids. It was crazy. Um, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, cause it was more of like a play on horror movie. Like it, it was, there were some scenes where you're like, Oh shit. It, it was kind of like Shaun of the dead. It kind of reminded me of Shaun of the dead a bit where it's like, it's funny. There's kind of a satire to it, but it's still like, there's a lot of blood, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, who was I just talking about? Yeah. Steven Seagal though. I, I watched a movie of his a couple years ago. I think it was on Netflix. Shit. It might've just been on YouTube. I have no idea. Um, and it seriously looked like someone made it like in a high school, uh, class or something, you know, like he was just, every scene was just him sitting on his ass and just karateing people. (laughs) Just, it was insane. I'm thinking, dude, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know who's watching this, but if he can make money off of it, great. But I kind of think some of these guys, they have, they have some kind of weird ties to how they make their money. So I'm not sure if he's legit right now <laughs> especially if you're doing karate from your chair that chair karate i really don't think works anymore <laughs> i really don't think in an mma setting you know <laughs> um but yeah so steven seagal he has terrible movies now so nick cage you know at least he's at least he's finding roles that are interesting and create you know at least at least a buzz or at least at least i'm talking about it right but uh but yeah i really like movies guys so so movie topics are going to be huge on this podcast, but it's not going to be just like I said with my old podcast that I just kind of lost interest in. You know, we're not just going to stick to one topic here. So, <laughs> so if you're if you're kind of bored with five minutes of Nick Cage talk, you know, we'll. Uh, yeah, it's been it, it probably has been about five minutes of Nick Cage talk. We move on quickly here at Vicarious. <laughs> um, but yeah, another movie I was thinking about the other day. I haven't seen it in a long time. But Airbud and the whole Airbud series, if you watch those as a kid or watched even the first one as a kid and then you're grown, you're a, you're an adult now, it's so funny when you look at that kind of shit. It makes no fucking sense. No one's going to need no one's going to need a dog for basketball. I'm sure there's plenty of people that would be able to shoot that hoop, you know, <laughs> shoot that Kobe. Um the basketball one wasn't weird to me. It was the football one. I think that was the sequel or maybe the third one. I mean, th- he's just doing every sport at this point. I wouldn't be shocked if he was playing golf next week. Maybe he's a bowler now. Air Bud Bowl, you know, air bowler. But um, the football one was funny to me because they they put on this, uh, you know, back in the day they started wearing leather helmets before they got to like the ones now, kind of more the modern style they wore leather helmets in football. So, so like they put this leather helmet on a fucking dog and that's air bud football, you know? (laughs) But, uh, yeah, that one, that, that premise makes no sense. Um, and I really don't know unless you were really hurting for some good news stories out of your town. I don't know why you would ever fucking do that, (laughs) but, uh, it's also just a kid premise. So a lot of those, shows and movies for kids really don't make sense anyways to begin with. Like, like I remember watching Teletubbies as a kid and you know, if if I tried to watch something like that now, I'd probably go fucking mental. Those kind of shows. I think that's why some kids just, they're a little out there, you know, they're a little fucking out there. (laughs) But yeah, let's, I wrote down a couple topics, guys. I I didn't want to, I didn't want to make this a super long episode today. Just because I, I want to keep these kind of things to about a 30, 20 to 30 minute rant. And then get the hell out of here. And then get the rest of my day going. Um, oh, here's a big one. And I'm thinking of making this a topic on YouTube as well. And that's why when I get the Patreon going, we'll make that kind of our topic source. And kind of our um, kind of our non-stop shop, if you will, for the for the fan base and, and, uh, and whatnot. But uh, the big discussion that I wanted to bring up today was the big topic. I felt a burp. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. I don't want to burp in the the mic here. I don't think the burp's going to happen. The topic today, because there's no burp right now, 
The topic is, is pizza better fresh, like right out of the oven? Or is it better leftovers the next day or even a couple days? And really the thing you have to think about is how insane are you not to want leftover pizza? <laughs> That's my question. That's a second secondary question. No, but um, really for me, I, I honestly feel like too, it's it would be in the style that would almost be answering that question too. Like you wouldn't want, and maybe my Chicago people, I'm not too far from Chicago. I'm about six hours away. Um, I currently live in the OHIO. Um, but I really think it's based on the pizza. Like if you're getting like a deep dish Chicago style, I, I don't think that'd be very good leftovers because you're, you know, you have more sauce, you got the sauce, you got more sauce on a deep dish. And, you know, if you look at like more of a traditional New York or more, you know, just a traditional pizza, you know, you're going to have less sauce, more bread, more cheese and toppings, right? So that would lend more for of a leftover, right? But I think with the deep dish, you got tomatoes, you got the sauce. That stuff's going to sit in a weird way, I feel like. You'd want that to be hot and ready. But it, it goes along the lines of, of really any leftover versus fresh topic, you know, discussion here. Like, you know, what other foods could be good leftovers? Lasagna is good leftovers. Why? The cheese, the meat. There's, you know, depending on how you make your lasagna, guys, you know, you're not going to have a shit ton of tomato sauce like you would on a deep dish, um, depending on what kind of deep dish you might get too. But primarily it's going to be a lot of sauce. You're going to have a big cheese layer as well. But um, depending on also the lasagna type, depends what kind of lasagna you're making. You know, you're going to make a little less sauce. Is it going to be really saucy? Maybe that lends to more of a fresh more it's more on the fresh side but i know the the lasagna that my family makes it's going to lend itself to you know really a couple days later would almost be it, 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 you, you might as well cook it a couple days earlier and then serve it when you know when it's been just it's just getting dense in that pan you know it's just getting thick um so i i, I think at the end of the day bringing this up it really depends what kind of pizza and what kind of items. But really for me, most pizza, most lasagna is going to be great a day or two left over. Um, put in the comments below what you guys think. I'll probably start a poll uh, once I once I upload this. Once I upload this today, we will have the poll. We will have your opinion. Your vote will count with leftover pizza or fresh hot and ready and obviously in the comments with the poll you can put your your exact details for your decision um if you want to bring up also my points about saying hey it really depends but i will take the leftover option you know so but yeah and also too think about what other foods would be better leftover versus um hot and ready like a leftover salad is going to be disgusting right you have all the you have all the moisture it's going to be gross it's going to be moldy right <laughs> um like rice would be kind of gross a couple days later it, it, it would it'd be the same thing it, but it would probably i'm not sure i feel like it would yeah it, it would kind of get soggy right i guess old old rice a couple days after maybe so yeah that would be gross so we're not you know that's that's out the poll's out on that but uh, yeah, I, I really think your cheesier, your your kind of more fat dense products would be better uh, left over after cooking. Um, but I want your guys' opinion, and we'll definitely we'll definitely take topics. If you guys have topics in the comments, I'll read the comments if I can. No disgusting shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, next time you see this show, we will be actually in the studio. Um, this week I, I was just being a little lazy. I wanted to at least get this episode out and start the ball rolling on vicarious podcast. Um, and also look out for my music, make sure to follow me on, on the Spotify page that I have, um, that I have linked below. Like I said, in the beginning, we're going to have a Patreon page as well. We'll probably have a thank you tier. We might have, we, you know, we, we might start, start a bonus podcast 
uh, uh, tier, something like that. So just something nice and quick. If you guys want to support me, support the, the, the podcast as well as the YouTube channel, um, we can set that up. Um, thank you so much, guys and gals. Have a great week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay cool out there.